so that was the V and A in Dundee. Very cool. Had um, quite a, quite a few things that I really enjoyed seeing um, from a design perspective. Very cool. But there's another gallery right around the corner. So we're going to take you there now. It's more of an old-fashioned gallery, which I quite like the sound of. This is the McManus Gallery. Literally just up the road, turn right, turn left. I've been told. So, traffic. Um, yeah, we're going to go take a look now. Don't know exactly what this is going to be. Um, I know they have a giant whale skeleton on the ceiling. Yeah, cool. Um, older paintings, more traditional kind of work. So let's let's check it out. I want to see. I want to know. The whole point of going into galleries is that you get inspiration. You never know what you're going to find, but seeing weapons, seeing artwork, is going to inspire you. I always say to do at least two hours drawing a day but other than that two hours drawing that you can do one thing you definitely should be doing is checking out the artwork of other artists yeah Instagram Facebook Twitter is brilliant YouTube as well obviously but never forget that and sorry for the audio quality but Never forget that actually going places, seeing real artwork, is, is actually really, really awesome when it comes to giving yourself that inspiration. Going out to actual galleries is invaluable. Meeting other artists is invaluable. And I don't just mean on social media. And I know as a social media guy, I shouldn't be saying things like that. But it's very true. Take yourself some drawing, you know, drawing classes. I don't want to say drawing classes, but yeah, life study groups. Do stuff. Don't walk up hills. I'm getting out of breath. Yes, let's go into the McManus Gallery now and take a look around. Soak in the atmosphere. Inspire yourself. So this is the McManus Gallery. How impressive is this? Beautiful. We're going to go inside and take a look at some of the more traditional art inside here. There's some beautiful paintings in here, but immediately I'm really disappointed in the fact that all of them seem to be behind glass, which means that Whenever I try and take photos for you guys, I'm getting some awful, awful reflections. So it's going to be quite hard to actually post stuff on social media. Mm, not exactly great. But you can see the photos themselves would, you know, be reflected. But the paintings themselves, absolutely gorgeous. And all of them, obviously, by Dundee Artist. So maybe I'll just have to do this all on video here. But like I say, and look at the reflections. But the art itself, absolutely amazing. It's very quiet in here. So I don't want to do too much talking. But this is the McManus Gallery, as I said. It's absolutely stunning and the portraiture work it's beautiful and not only the portraiture work but also whale skeleton how cool is that
There's a lot of Dundee's history in here as well and a lot of other things. But yeah, so disappointed that some of the oil paintings in here hidden behind glass. Don't know why exactly they've done that. Now obviously you don't want people touching things but I've got to say when an art gallery chooses to do this for a painter like me I think it really takes away from the actual painting itself. You know I can only imagine that they think somehow that preserves the paint but for oil paintings they need to be allowed to breathe. Glass stops the painting from breathing. Let me know what you think in the comments below about this. Obviously it's not good for us to be able to appreciate the art but also how you think this actually affects the painting itself you know chemically as well So something else they actually have an exhibit on right here at the McManus Gallery is the fact that Lemmings and Grand Theft Auto were created by a company called DMA, both right here in Dundee. Something right here you want to see as well. So this is pretty swish, right? Have a look at that. That is the centre of Dundee in 1850. I love scale models. I can't get enough of scale models. I don't know why. How cool is that? Again, reflective glass. Uh, the one kind of issue I have with all galleries, but this gallery seems to have it a little bit worse. <laughs> but yes, very, very cool. I don't know why I love scale models, but I really do, and I find them so inspiring. That is a giant whale, well, no, it's a baby whale, I suppose, but to me it's pretty giant. Have a look at that. The whale was once a land creature that just decided to crawl into the ocean. You can see these are its front legs. Tiny de evolved set of back legs there. You know, believe in what you want to believe, but there you go. And that tail. That is so cool to actually see that right there above my head. Woohoo! Yeah, awesome. Love that to bits. Really, really like that. Giant, giant head right there. I believe that's uh, real. I don't think that's a uh, reproduction. At least judging on the front of the skull there. Yeah, Dundee, obviously a city on the coast. So yeah, I believe that's totally real. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I cannot explain how cool this is in terms of reference material. This is the coolest thing ever. I love seeing taxidermied animals for reference material. I know I shouldn't. I know loads of artists who keep them. They do make brilliant reference models. You're never going to get something this good to be able to draw from.
So I'm upstairs in the McManus Gallery now and they have the typical Roman, Catholic and European paintings which are pretty much 15, 16, kind of 17th century uh, European paintings. Um, food, Catholic, religious paintings that you'd see typically in a, in a gallery of this type in, in Britain. And they're all very beautiful paintings, overly varnished as is typical. You know, the good thing is, on this floor, they are not stuck behind glass. Um, I don't feel guilty for talking up here because there's a college tour going on, you know. Um, so yeah, paintings are absolutely beautiful, as you can see, of the varnished white, shiny. Lots of people wandering around, which is absolutely great to see in a gallery. Beautiful, beautiful paintings. There we go. Let's move on to the next room. There are also, being Dundee, being a shipbuilding city, we have these as well. Beautiful, immaculately built models. Look at that. But I'm not here for the models. I'm not here for the little trinkets and artifacts. You know me. Just here for the paintings. Let's carry on. This time I found myself in more of the modern art space of the McManus Gallery. Gotta say, having been into the v &A, yeah, um, I'd rather see more traditional pieces here in this gallery. Still quite nice, at least they are painted pieces rather than, you know, something a bit wackier. Some of them actually quite nice. Feels a bit more to me like the stuff your mum and dad might buy to kind of adorn their bathroom walls. I know I shouldn't say that being a digital painter, but yeah. I don't like something that I don't, you know, it's woolly for me, that's the thing. But on the other hand, some of it is beautiful. See what I mean? But yes, I'm that kind of guy and that's why my house doesn't have a lot of art in it. But. I mean, you see my studio walls and they're crammed. There's not an inch of space there. Bit strange, but the rest of my house doesn't have loads in because me and my wife don't kind of agree on, you know, what to put in. Not that, not that for sure. But yeah, but we're not modern art people. So we don't put in that we don't just buy anything and we've never fallen in love with a lot of art but you know we do have Disney posters and stuff on the walls so yeah I think I've just spotted something that we would have on the wall funnily enough that's quite nice let me know what you think No, it came with the frame. It came with the frame? Yes. So again, more into a traditional space where is a lot more like me. I mean, that is beautiful. It tells the story of Dundee, about the shipbuilding, etc., etc. That's absolutely gorgeous. Just moving up that as well absolutely gorgeous looking around glass that absolutely gorgeous looking around there's so much in here that is beautiful i could spend all day just in this one room funnily enough leeds art gallery has this same red color on the walls of my favorite room so what is it about 
an art gallery that I love. It has to be these types of rooms. Completely and utterly with classical paintings. With paintings from the 16th, 17th and 18th century. It's most certainly not modern art in any way, shape or form. I might be a digital painter, but traditional painting, the style of painting, not the means in which you paint, but certainly the style of painting. So there you go, that's the McManus Gallery and uh, we've had the V&A as well in Dundee. My dogs are barking, um, which is a Dundee saying. Scottish saying? I don't know. Um, very tired. My dogs are barking means, yeah, my feet are sore. So yeah, um, a bit tired overall really. But you know, you have to get out, you have to do your research, you have to get some inspiration. Hopefully you like that. I liked it all. I think realistically now I'm gonna uh, gonna do some more artwork. Hope you like that. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. Um, yeah, I'll speak to you all later. Have a wonderful day. I, I for me, the McManus Gallery had its ups and downs. The red room at the end for me. That was the tree, that's what saved that gallery. The giant baby whale, I wanna say giant whale, but it's baby whale, that was cool. But, the red room at the end with all those paintings, that was, that was the tree, that's the little bit that I liked. Traditional kind of 17th, 18th century oil paintings, beautiful. Right, so I'll see you all later, have a wonderful day. Make sure to subscribe, tweet me, all that jazz. But most of all, yeah, leave a comment. Bye for now.